Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says two codons E and B have a grain storage capacity of 100 quintals and 50 quintals respectively. They supply to three Russian shops D, E and F whose requirements are 60, 50 and 40 quintals respectively. The cost of transportation per quintal from grants to the shops are given in the following table. This is the table given to us. How much the supplies be transported in order that the transportation cost is minimum? Let's now begin with the solution. Let quantity of grain supplied from go down A to Russian shop B B X quintals And the quantity supplied to Russian shop E B Y quintals. storage capacity of go down A is 100 quintals Therefore, quantity which can be supplied from Godam A is 100 minus x minus y quintals. Now as the supply cannot be negative Therefore, x is greater than equal to 0 and y is also greater than equal to 0 and 100 minus x minus y is also greater than equal to 0. This implies 100 is greater than equal to x plus y and this implies x plus y is less than equal to 100. So, this is our first in equation. Now, requirement of shop B is 60 quintals. As x quintals have already been 
transported from godown a therefore the remaining 60 minus x quintals will be supplied from godown b which implies 60 minus x is greater than equal to 0 or we can say that x is less than equal to 60 so this is our second inequation similarly requirement of shop e is 50 quintals Y quintals have already been supplied from Godown A. Therefore, the remaining 50 minus Y quintals will be transported from Godown B. Therefore, 50 minus Y is greater than equal to zero, or we can say that Y is less than equal to 50. So, this is our third inequation. Similarly, requirement of shop F is 40 quintals, and 100 minus x minus y quintals have already been transported from Godown A. Therefore, the remaining Forty minus hundred minus x minus y. Forty is the requirement of shop F. And hundred minus x minus y quintals have already been transported. From Godown A. Therefore, remaining 40 minus 100 minus x minus y, which is equal to x plus y minus 60 quintals, will be transported from Godown B. Therefore, x plus y minus 60 is greater than equal to zero. This implies x plus y is greater than equal to 60. So this is our fourth inequation. Now we will find objective function z. Look at the table. Transportation cost per quintal from Godown A to Shop B is six rupees. Therefore, transportation cost of x quintal will cost rupees six x from Godown A to Shop B. Z is equal to six x plus. We know that requirement of Shop B is sixty quintals. Now, x quintals have already been transported from Godown A. Therefore, remaining 60 minus x quintals will be supplied from Godown B. And transportation cost per quintal from Godown B to Shop D is four rupees. Therefore, transportation cost of 60 minus x quintals will be 
फोर इंटू सिक्सटी माइनस एक्स वी हैव अज्यूम दैट क्वांटिटी सप्लाई फ्रॉम गोडाउन ए टू राशन चौक ई एस वाई क्विंटल्स Now transportation cost per quintal from Godown A to shop E is rupees three. Therefore, transportation cost of Y quintals will be three by. So we have plus three Y. We know that requirement of shop E. Is 50 quintals and y quintals have already been supplied from Godown A. Therefore, the remaining 50 minus y quintals will be transported from Godown B. Now, transportation cost per quintal from Godown B to shop E is two rupees. Therefore, transportation cost of 50 minus y quintals will be two into 50 minus Why? So now we have two into fifty minus one. Similarly, we can find transportation cost of grains from Godown A to Shop F. Transportation cost of grains per quintal from Godown A to Shop F. Is two point five into hundred minus x minus y, and transportation cost from go down B to shop F is three into x plus y minus sixty. On simplifying this, we get two point five x plus one point five y. Plus four hundred ten. Now this is our objective function, which is to be minimized. So mathematical formulation of LPP. Is minimize it equals to 2.5x plus 1.5y plus 410, subject to the constraints. Plus y less than equal to hundred. X plus y greater than equal to sixty. X is less than equal to sixty. Y is less than equal to fifty. X is greater than equal to zero, and y is also greater than equal to zero. Equation corresponding to this inequation is x plus y equals two hundred. To this inequation is x plus y equals to sixty. To this equation is x equals to sixty. And to this inequation is y equals to fifty. The points lying on this line are zero hundred. Hundred zero, points lying on this line are sixty zero zero sixty, points on this line are sixty zero sixty fifty, points lying on this line are zero fifty sixty fifty. Now we will draw the lines on the graph. First, draw the line x plus y equals to hundred. Points are zero hundred and hundred zero. 
This is the line x plus y equals to 100. Second line is x plus y equals to 60. Points are 0, 60 and 60, 0. Third line is x equals to 60. Points are 60, 0. This is the point. And then is 60, 50. This is the point. 60, 50. Now this line is parallel to y axis. Fourth line is y equals to 50. Points are 0, 50. This is the point 0, 50. Then is 60, 50. This is the point 60, 50. Let's now join these points. So this is the line y equals to 50. Now we will find the feasible region. This is the common region determined by all the constraints. So let's now shape this region. Corners of this polygon are now this point we can obtain by solving these two equations simultaneously. On solving them, we get this point as 10, 50. This point is 60, 0. This point we can obtain by solving equation x plus y equals to 100 and x equals to 60. On solving these two equations, we get this point as 60, 40. This point is 50, 50. We have obtained this point by solving equation x plus y equals to 100 and y equals to 50. Now, according to fundamental extreme point theorem, minimum value of z will occur at one of these points. So, now we will calculate value of z at each of these points. z is equal to 2.5x plus 1.55 plus 410. Now the first point is 1050. Value of z at this point is 510. Second point is 60, 0. Value of z at this point is 560. Third point is 5050. 50. Value of z at this point is 610. Fourth point is 60, 40. Value of z at this point is 620. So, minimum value of z is 510 at the point 1050. So, this means from Godown A, quantity of grain supply to shops D, E and F should be 10 quintals, 50 quintals and 40 quintals respectively. And quantity of grain supply to shops D, E and F from Godown B should be 50 quintals, 0 quintal, 0 quintal. Hence our required answer is Minimum cost is rupees 510 when quantity of grain transported from Godown A to shops D, E and F is 10 quintals, 50 quintals, 40 quintals, 
quantity of grain transported from Godown B is 50 quintals, 0 quintal, 0 quintal respectively. This is our required answer. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.